Thank you for choosing the Dr. Mercola Whole Home Air Purifier and for taking the time to learn how to properly clean and maintain your unit. Proper care will allow your purifier to improve your living spaces for years to come. You will need a screwdriver, cotton swabs, rubbing alcohol, a damp cloth, a dry cloth, a compressed air duster, distilled white vinegar, a soft bristled toothbrush, and an empty container for the purification plate. First, find a clean and sturdy countertop or table to disassemble your purifier. Turn off and unplug the purifier. Remove the DC power adapter plug from the back of the unit. Using your screwdriver, remove the screw from the back cover. Squeeze the sides of the cover until they release and tilt it slightly upward. It should easily separate from the main body. Next, remove the brass thumb screws from the top two corners of the filter assembly and set them aside. Tilt the top of the filter away from the main body and pull it off. Set it aside, we'll clean it in a bit. Locate the purification plate and gently pull it straight out, holding onto the white framed edge. Set it aside for cleaning. Find the PCO cell connector on the right side of the back of the purifier. Pinch the tabs on the top and bottom of the connector and pull gently until it comes out of its outlet. Remove the nuts from the screw post on either side of the PCO cell and place them with the other screws you're keeping together. Gently slide the PCO cell out of the purifier and set it aside. Now remove the four screws at the corners of the front grill. If you find that they fall out easily, store them with your other screws, but they are designed to be retained by the grill during cleaning. Be careful while removing the front grill as the ionization needle found near the top of the purifier is now exposed and is sharp. Clean the ionization needle with a cotton swab and rubbing alcohol. It doesn't take much, but you'll want to be careful while doing so. Next, gently clean the back cover and the main body of the purifier inside and out with a damp cloth, compressed air, or a vacuum. Avoid using chemical cleaners as they may cause damage to the unit. Continue using compressed air or a vacuum cleaner's hose attachment to remove excess dust from the PCO cell. Do not get the PCO cell wet or attempt to take it apart. Remember that your PCO cell needs to be replaced annually for continuous users, even before the lamp burns out. Next, we'll clean the back filter and the purification plate that we've removed earlier. First, take the filter apart by lifting the tabs on the sides of the assembly to remove the rim so that you can separate the mesh foam and the honeycomb layers. Then, simply clean the separate parts of the filter by rinsing them under running water, running the water through the cleaner side and out the dirtier side. Shake each piece dry and set it where it will get plenty of air to dry completely before reinstalling. Now, here's how to easily clean your purification plate with something you probably have around your home, distilled white vinegar. First, you'll take your clean empty container and fill it enough that the white vinegar will cover the purification plate completely. Gently place the dirty purification plate into the cleaning solution and let it soak for at least six hours and no more than 24 hours. Most people let it soak overnight. After soaking, use the soft bristled brush to scrub the loosened contaminants from the wire mesh material on both sides of the purification plate. If there are any stubborn contaminants remaining, soak the plate for another six hours and repeat the cleaning steps. Once you are satisfied with the cleanliness of the purification plate, remove it from the container and dry it with your cloth. Allow the purification plate to air dry completely before reinstalling. Now that everything is clean and dry, it's time to put your purifier back together. First, let's put the filter assembly back together by taking the largest plastic piece and placing the filters back in order, starting with the honeycomb, then the foam, followed by the mesh, and finally the rim. 
Gently reattach the rim, making sure the tabs on the rim set into their slots on the largest piece and that it is held together securely. Place the front grille back on the front of the purifier, making sure that the logo is right side up and install the screws until they are secure. Next, install the purification plate in the back of the unit. Hold the white framed edge of the plate and gently slide it into its designated slot until it is completely in place and the metal clips are contacting both sides of the plate's wire mesh. Then, install the PCO cell. Gently slide it into place, replace the nuts that hold it, and plug its connectors back in. Install the back filter back onto the purifier by inserting the bottom into the supports and then closing it up against the unit. Replace the two thumb screws that hold it in place. Position the back cover to the back of the unit. Tilt it so the top will make contact with the back of the purifier first and insert the top tab into the space above the back filter. Then, tilt the back cover down until it's set in place. Replace the screw in the back cover. Plug the DC adapter into the back of the purifier and plug the power cord back into the wall. Ensure the power cord is securely seated in the DC adapter and turn the unit back on. Check to make sure that neither replace PCO cell or replace plate is showing on the display. If the display shows perform cleaning, press and hold the circle on the control panel labeled reminder reset until the notification disappears. It should come back on after 30 more days of continuous use. For any questions, please contact Mercola Market Customer Care at 877-985-2695. Thank you for choosing Dr. Mercola Whole Home Air Purifier.